Welcome to another edition of Rust Rants. I'm John Rust, and I go off about, well, whatever's honking me off today. So a few days ago, the trailer for the fifth Indiana Jones movie, The Dial of Destiny, What a juvenile name. Anyway, that trailer dropped, and because even though Harrison Ford is, what, like 80 now? Still, Lucasfilm will try to milk everything it can out of one of Hollywood's most iconic action-adventure heroes, because, well, coming up with new characters and IPs, that's just too hard. But, are they going to milk Indiana Jones? Or are they going to destroy him? Well, I'll get to that after this word from our sponsor, H2O Health and Water Solutions. Does your toilet have rings that always need cleaning? Do you have hard water spots on your shower doors, calcium buildup on your faucets? Just imagine what all of that is doing to the inside of your washing machine, dishwasher, refrigerator, your hot water heater. What about the pipes inside of your body? Buy a filter or be a filter. You can have clean mineral rich water without the buildup of unwanted toxins in your body and throughout your whole home. Call Vicki Johnston today at H2O Health and Water Solutions at 928-899-7504 or stop in and see her at the Prescott Gateway Mall. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the new Indiana Jones trailer? Well, honestly, I think they just should have stopped making Indiana Jones movies after The Last Crusade because I think that was just the perfect send-off for Indy and Crystal Skull, well, That was not all that great. I don't hate it as much as other people do, but I certainly have no desire to ever rewatch that movie. Anyway, back to the new Indiana Jones movie. I actually liked the way the trailer started off with the always excellent John Reese davies doing a voiceover as his character Sala, reflecting on his past exploits with Indiana Jones, interspersed with action scenes. After that, however, I think the trailer just kind of went downhill. You have some questionable CGI. You had this one scene where Indiana Jones is facing about 30 people with guns who start shooting about a second after Indiana Jones ducks down. But and I'll be honest, I just can't get excited about seeing an Indiana Jones who's well past his prime, trying to have the sorts of adventures that we saw him have 30, 40 years ago. Not only that, but there are also a lot of leaks and rumors coming out about this movie, uh, many of them from the YouTuber Doomcock, where apparently time travel is involved, which given the stuff we see in the trailer with Nazis and a digitally de-aged Harrison Ford, That could be true. Now, normally, I'm a sucker for any story that involves time travel. But what concerns me the most is this rumor that Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who plays Indy's sidekick, will actually take over for Indiana Jones when, get this, if you haven't heard it, in the words of Samuel L. Jackson from Jurassic Park, hold on to your butts. She will take over after a young Indy sacrifices himself to save her. And the rumor is the movie will end with a lot of famous action scenes from the first three Indiana Jones movies with Phoebe Waller-Bridge doing all the cool stuff that Indiana Jones did in those movies. Now, if this rumor is true, this is the biggest slap in the face to all the fans who made Indiana Jones and those movies one of the biggest film franchises in history. And since all indications are that Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy has her grubby paws all over this project, I'm willing to believe these rumors. And it also keeps with this trend we've seen in Hollywood over the last several years to ruin iconic male characters and replace them with female characters who are not well-developed, usually not very likable, but you know what? They have to do it because of the representation and because girls need good role models in movies because they've never had that before, except for Princess Leia, Sarah Connor, Ellen Ripley... Lara Croft, the Angelina Jolie version of Lara Croft, Uh, any kung fu movie that ever had Michelle Yeoh in it. But, you know, people in Hollywood like Kathleen Kennedy, they have a problem with heroic male characters being, well, 
men. Because men have had leading roles in movies for too long because they don't like traditional masculinity. They think it's toxic. When really what masculinity is, is being strong, helping those who can't defend themselves, and setting a good example to live by. But these woke weirdos don't seem to like that. So instead of having strong and well-developed male and female characters side by side in a movie, the trend in Hollywood has been female characters are the bestest ever, and male characters are either idiots or they need to be put in their place by their smarter and better female companions. And so what we may have here is another iconic franchise getting turned into excrement, just like Star Wars, just like Star Trek, just like Lord of the Rings. And it shows that these people are bitter because they know they don't have the talent to create anything new, so they have to destroy what better men and women before them created just so they can push their stupid woke agenda. Okay, folks, well, that's going to do it for this edition of Rust Rants. Be sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe across all of KYCA's social media. That's Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, Instagram. Check us out at kyca.info. Be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say on this video. Do you think that Indiana Jones 5 is going to be a good one, or is this just going to completely ruin the character? Till next time, I'm John Russ. I'll see you soon.